right, Foster Adventures is uh, back not on the beach this time, so that makes a bit of a change, doesn't it? So we've come to a quarry today, we've got invited to come down here by Phil, so we um, thought, yeah, definitely give it a whirl. Uh, been here for a couple of hours and found a few bits and bobs, we'll do a bit of a roundup later on. But yeah, so we've got the afternoon here now, so we're going to uh, crack on and see what we can find. Good job we've come today, not um, yesterday, because it's rained constantly for two days, so it's a bit uh, bit muddy booty underfoot, but chalk's dry on the top. So we found a few shells and some sponge, so Mark's going to go look at the... This is the old older part of the workings here, where it's obviously it's dark, there it's got algae growth on it and stuff like that, so I've not worked that at all for a long time. So we'll head up there and uh, see what we can find. The yeah, interesting place, there was a lot of kites flying around this morning. That's birds, not um, pieces of material. But yeah, stunning place, really interesting. So let's just uh, see what happens. This will be the uh, stockpile of all the stuff that they've crushed when they've took it out, so there's no point looking in there because um, everything will be totally smashed to pieces in there.
No, that's uh, a big unsupported all that, isn't it, mate? I ain't even going near the edge. Because all this is built up here. That's going to take some That's getting out of it, they're tough yeah. aren't they? If we can see that there look, there we go. Chris has just spotted that shell in there but you can see how hard that is. That's going to take a bit of <laughs> It's surprising how tough the chalk is. You'd think it'd be soft but I've only prepped a couple of chalk fossils and it was really tough. It surprised me. Top bit's coming off Chris. See how big it is. Yeah, it's going, isn't it? It's, it's, going a bit. it's worth uh, chipping away. We'll, we'll we'll leave that and we'll come back to you in a couple of hours. All then. right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's literally in a hole. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately not too many fans, there's some bits of damaged shell which uh, I've not taken. Some of the guys have found some of the nice bits, but I've got a nice uh, sponge as I said, so I'm happy with that. So we're just going to uh, keep looking for another hour or so and then I think we'll be calling it a day. But it's really nice to come out somewhere different for a change. So I'm hoping that that, although it doesn't look very good, let me just put it down here because it's heavy, is a sponge. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that out, but just I'll try and, yeah, I need a camera with a zoom to be fair, so if there's any um, expensive patrons out there who want to buy me a new camera or companies, that'll be brilliant. But it's got like, it's almost like a bone texture running through it, so you probably won't be able to see that. But it's like sponge, I'm sure. And the shape of it as well, I'm sure that could well be a sponge. And if it is, I am pretty chuffed with that really, even though it just looks like a lump of rock. Like mountain goats, that remark. 
<laughs> retired mountain goats. Retired. Found some uh, more sponges down there, so we're just looking to see if we can find any ammonites. That's weird. <laughs> Just have that nodule. Oh, we should never look above us, should we, really, when we go fostering? <laughs> I think the guys have found some shells down there as well, so. So, that there, that massive mound's all stuff they've crushed, so there's no point looking in that, because that's what they sell for roads and stuff. So, let's just uh, have a look down here. Oh, golden balls there, look. Done it again. Big lump of calcite, and I think that's a, maybe a cast of a shell or something on the top, look. Icing on the cake. It is literally icing on the yeah. icing on the uh, shell mineral. Shell calcite, yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? That's absolutely superb. And crystals are beautiful. And that cleans yeah. up, yeah. Yeah. We well, might, Paul might have found an ammonite. We're not 100% certain, we'll have to wait for Ben to uh, maybe, oh, uh, he's disappeared, oh, but yeah, that, that could be, it's a bit knackered, but another piece of sponge as well, Ben's got some sponge, I picked up, actually picked up a bit of shell that I'll actually take, and then there's just a couple more bits of calcite as well, that I picked up, that's got some quite nice crystal in it. So we'll go see you, uh, yeah, it's called the rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen a few of them, haven't we? That's some nice calcite here. Obviously not as nice as the one Mark found, but there we go, yeah. yeah there's one. Yeah, I found, it, I found it over there. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to go over there. <laughs> <laughs> just on the side of there. Two pieces right next to each other. I just picked them two up down here. There was in here. Oh, I've got a YouTube channel. There you go. Max picked that. Oh, yeah, that's probably the best show, isn't it? Over there. Yeah, nice one. YouTube channel, I'll have a look. You go on YouTube. Yeah, you want to wrap that in bubble wrap? That's nice. You can put it with a. You can put it with old cutting pal. Uh, Chris has got it over there somewhere. Just Chris is carrying it. <laughs> Stuck promising, look. What have you got there? Uh, yeah. That's a show and a half, isn't it? I don't think you're going to get that out of there, like, but. Yeah. Well, that's according to it, like, uh, if you look down the side, there's the other side to it as well. <laughs> One of them is definitely more shell. Yeah. It's like it's like a cliff bound. That's huge, isn't it? That's huge. Yeah. That would have been a monster, wouldn't it? That's yeah. A monster. Yeah. Very nice. That's oh, some good fans today. This afternoon, yeah, well, haven't we? So, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Well, was that just at the other side of here? Well, was like, yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. Just said if you ever any time you want to come back, just let us know and I'll run it back there and I'll answer that. Right, so it's done for the day then. There's Chris coming back. Yeah, this afternoon was quite good. We've got a few more sponges, nice big shell, got some uh, nice calcite to cut. Had a really good day. Thanks for uh, Phil for inviting us. Definitely nice to uh, collect somewhere new. We'll be uh, back again, I reckon, as well, at some point. I think Chris might be going for his hammer. You're going for your hammer? Got it. Thought it was. I, I didn't want to film that before, but we needed someone to um, stand next to it. The human scale. What do we reckon we're getting that? A couple of tonne to go?
I like the ants at the start, I thought we'll go mix that. I like that. Yeah, but that's not cheap either. Nah. Right, sorted, thanks for watching. Um, hope it was a bit different. We'll just clean some of these fans up and get them on there. And we'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye. So I thought we'd just do a little round up of the fans from the quarry that I've uh, cleaned up. Oh, hello. That's Arthur. He's come to help. Come on then. Oh, cats are always good at helping. Move your bum. So um, there was a few of these um, shells there. But that was the best one I found that's crushed, obviously. I've got bleach on my hands, so the cat's going mad. It's like catnip <laughs> for cats. Um, anyway, sorry, so that's um, the only shell I picked up. I'm just going to prep a little bit of that, which is quite nice. Um, picked up a couple of sponges. So that was the first one. Like a little ball. I think that at the top there is like a siphon hole or whatever. I don't know what they're called on sponges. And there's one that runs through there as well. So obviously that's where it draws water through its uh, structure to filter feed. So quite like that. It's quite nice. This is a bit bigger sponge. As you can see, it's it's flat on that base there, so that's as it would have sat, I would imagine. So it doesn't look that impressive, but I, I'm well happy with it, because I don't really have any chalk sponges. So, um, yeah, I think that's quite cool, that I don't, don't like that. And we picked up a lot of calcite as well on there, so there's some, some nice pieces of calcite from there as well. I love the, the banding in that one. As you can see, and this small piece as well, I think that's really nice. So Chris took some nice pieces as well, and he's going to uh, try and cut and polish them. Mark found a stunning piece, um, obviously, as you can see on the earlier parts of this video. But these are quite nice, I quite like them. Now, this piece is quite interesting. I don't know, after a little bit of research, Chris um, gave me a paper from the geology of the area as well, so I'll have to read up on that. But that, I do remember someone saying that sometimes calcite forms in chalk when it, um, sort of, when the, sorry, when the rain dissolves the chalk, it can dissolve it, and then it can push minerals down, and you get little stalactites forming. So I wonder if that's one, or maybe even stalagmites. I don't know, but it's it's definitely got that that sort of smooth texture there. And if you've ever been in the cave and you see it running down where it's built up over hundreds of thousands of years, so if that is one, that'd be really cool. It's a good old chunk, so I'm real happy with that. So that's the fans. It was a really good, really good day out. Totally different. Uh, met a couple of really nice new guys who we've not met before and uh, big shout out to Phil and Chris for sorting it out and uh, getting us down there so if anyone else fancies inviting us to somewhere that's not a beach or something like that would be uh, rough to go I'll just uh, I'll just take a picture of this as well obviously it's not found on the same day but this was uh, from the banks of the estuary where I sometimes found Roman um, pottery and stuff like that it's a big lump of shell but there is a couple of ammonites in there so i just put that it was sticking out the uh cliff so i just thought i'll bring it home and i think i don't know could probably maybe cut and polish it that might be a good idea i was just going to say i might hit it with a hammer and see if i can split and just get one nice shell out of it but it's, i bet it's solid though but it might cut and polish i don't know i'll have a word with chris anyway right that's great thanks for watching anyway and um, hope you enjoyed that a bit of a different adventure and uh we'll see you soon